everyone, I'm Jonathan Peck. I'm four years old. Today, we're going to do very hard questions for you. Which is fourth grade math. So, two. so I'm going to tell you the factors of 18. So, they are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and itself. And the factors are of 36 are all of those with it. 1, 3, I mean 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, and itself. The factors of 63 are 1, 3, but no 66, so then we can all 3. So 1, 3, what, did, what times 3 equals 63? Um, I, I know it is. So 21 and 21. And then the last one is itself. And then is there anything else times seven or times eight? Or nine times something? Um, nine, 18, 20, so six, 25, 30, 35, 63, hmm, seven. Okay. So seven and nine, okay. So next are the factors of 65. R should be one. Five and itself, I think. Well, what times five equals sixty-five? Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Five. Um. S not twelve because that equals sixty. Thirteen. And it's. Hmm. What about fifteen? Is. Is, oh no, 15 is not a factor. Wait, 15? No, no, no. It's. I think you got it. Okay, 90? Not, wait. Yes, maybe one, um, two, five, ten, thirty, and itself. What goes here? Hmm. What times 30 equals 90? What times? Three. So, okay. and the factors of 225 are 1, 5, um, 15, 25, and itself, I think. Um, okay. That looks okay so this is whether they're prime numbers or composite numbers Ooh, so prime prime okay composite okay um maybe like prime composite um composite um Composite. Composite. So it's composite, not composite. Okay, now can you add these? Hmm. I can. I cannot, but I can. You can. So I know that nine plus two is eleven. I know that six plus. So what do we do with the one? Um, we put this on top. Okay. So 6 plus 6 plus 1 equals 13. So we put the 1. 5 plus 4 plus 1 is 10. So uh, 0 plus 9 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 11. That's the answer. Okay. Minus. <coughs> I, I know minus, but I don't know how to add minus. 8 minus 1 is... Well, remember, you have to borrow to from for the 10. Borrow from the 10. So you do this, 8, and then this is a 10, right? Hmm. This 
You always have to borrow when the number on top is smaller. Hmm. Eight plus one is it's, ten. It's minus. Each minus one is seven. Jonathan, we're doing oh, subtraction. Eight. Ten minus eight is two. Okay. Nine, eight minus seven equals one. Eight minus one equals seven. Four minus two equals two. Okay. The same with four divided by two. Okay, then multiplication. Oh, this one is super hard. Um, so I know multiplication, but I don't know hard and medium. So this is really hard, so I could just multiply them. Eight times two is 16, or two times eight. Okay, so, so I put the six here, would I put the one? Um, on top of that zero. So that zero times one is zero. No, Jonathan, one. you did eight times two, and then you have to do eight times um, zero equals zero plus one equals one. So eight times seven equals fifty-six. The same with seven times eight. So eight times six. Hmm. Hmm. Eight. Hmm. Sixteen twenty-four. 32, 40, 48, plus 5 equals um, 53. That is the answer. Wait. Okay, and now divide. Ooh, how do I do dividing? You just started doing dividing. So remember how many times does 4 go into these numbers? <laughs> 4 goes into 9 2 times with a remainder 1. 4 goes into... Okay, I have to catch up. Remainder 1, okay. 4... So 4 goes into 15... Um, 3 times with um, a remainder 3. 4 so. goes... So remainder is three, <laughs> and then it's, is it, yeah, 37. Yeah, first one equals two. Well, how many times does four go into 37? Hmm. Four, hmm. 36, nine, and remainder one. Four goes into twelve three times. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna do finish these fractions. What's the equivalent? Ooh, fifty for that. Okay. Um, six for that. Time for the uh, three tenths. Those are the decimals. You have to figure out what oh, the decimal is. I know decimals, but I don't know fractions because three tenths equals three one hundred. It equals three one hundred. So oh. decimal is point three. Okay, point three, and point then that one. Point eight seven. Point five. Point five. Okay. Let me now go. you have to. Add the number with the fractions. Hmm. I know this with seven and three fifths. So seven and three fifths. Hmm. Okay, next one. Um so two so we minus this by this equals hmm. five minus two equals three. This minus this. Oh, okay, three minus one equals two so we so it wait 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 a minute it equals two and what, what's the answer um five minus three equals three wait five minus three fifths um three and two fifths i think three and two fifths okay yes! and then this one's a little bit harder remember how you do that one 16 over 4. How'd you. 15 over 4? 
So 16. How'd you get 16? Um, you multiply 4 by 4. Why? Um, Jonathan, this is, this is 5 times, so this is the same as being a 1 there, 5 over 1, so it's 5 times 3 and then 1 times 4. Hmm. 5 times 3 equals 50, 1 times 4 equals 4. And then you have to simplify. How many times does, how do you simplify that? Hmm. We just multiply it. Like it should be four or three and something remainder. Hmm. It's okay. We'll, we'll four do. Four and three and the sum. Okay. What is this answer? Hmm. I don't know, but. You do it the same way as the other one. Seven. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Wait. No. No, 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 no. Seven. No, wait. No, wait. I don't know. Jonathan, you do this equals a one, <laughs> and then you multiply it <laughs> Seven times two equals 14. One times nine equals nine. Okay, you're just being a little silly. But look, we're almost done. Okay, can you figure out the perimeter and the... So the area is not really fourth grade, but can you figure out the perimeter of that? 22. <laughs> 22 plus 6. 22 plus 6 equals 28. That equals 56. Is that the answer? Maybe. That's right. Can you... I can figure out the area. Okay. So I can... So this is the easiest part. So... 60, 120, 132. 132? It's the area. Okay, and then the next one? Oh. The perimeter? Oh, I, I, I wanted to do the area, but... And remember, this is inches and this is inches squared. But go ahead. I wanted to do the area, but first we do the perimeter. Okay. Six, 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 and I wanted to figure out the area. Okay. But I don't want to do that. So. Okay, so you can skip that. But remember, the area is the length times width divided by 2 for a triangle. So length is 6 times width is 12. 6 times 12 equals 72 divided by 2 is 36. So 36 is the area. 36 is the area. Like you said. Okay, and then and then can you figure out the perimeter of that object? Um it nine wait no 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 no. Nine plus eight equals eight plus five plus eight. I mean, not done. No, it's not 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5. So it's 8.5 plus 8.5. Which I don't know decimal plus decimal. And that's fine. So that's 17, which equals 9 plus 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. 6. Hmm. 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 6. Hmm. Is 23 plus 4 equals, um, no, no, plus 3, wait, plus 4 equals 27 plus 3 equals 30 plus 4 equals 34. 34 is perimeter. Okay. I don't know the area of that. Part. Okay, and then now these angles, can you figure out the angle with X is? X is. 60, no, not 60 for that one. 
50 for the first one. Okay, 50 degrees. 180. So, so X is? 80. 80. Okay, and then this one's a little bit harder because you have two angles there and then you're trying to figure out what X is. Hmm, it's 180 minus 60 equals 120 minus 50 equals 70. 70. Maybe. Okay, and then four pounds equals how many ounces? I know that C equals 64. 64? No, no, yes. Okay, and then four kilograms equals how many grams? Wait, I know that it equals not zero grams, grams. So that equals 4,000. 4,000, okay. Six feet equals how many inches? That's easy, 72. How'd you do that, six times 12? No, I, I did 36 plus 36. Okay. And then 28 meters is how many centimeters? I know that, hmm. So that one meter equals 100 centimeters, 10 meter equals meters equals 1,000, so 2,800. Okay, so Jonathan, how hard was this? Um, like fourth grade, so it was like medium hard. Medium, okay, so Jonathan, next time we're gonna do fifth and sixth grade before we get started on seventh and eighth grade, which uh, we... Yes, I think I'm gonna be a tenth grader. Okay, okay, Jonathan, say bye to everybody. Bye, everyone. Can you learn these fourth, fourth grade questions? Please subscribe to this video and press the like button. Bye everyone!